and gentlemen, it's time for Donnie Fandango's Week in Rage. Donnie Fandango heard noon, I'm sorry, from 10. 10 till 2. After we're off the air. Here on The Point. Been here for years. Donnie is one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet, but man, does he bottle up some emotion. So rather than have him come out and take the staff out in a bloody, fiery, bullet-infested <laughs> massacre, we decided to give him his own uh, segment here on the show. It's called this Donnie Fandango's outlet. Week in Rage. And it's therapy. You're right. Just a chance for him to get some stuff off his chest. Donnie, how are you feeling today? Hey, you know, man, I'm doing all right. You had a day off this week, so I thought maybe that would help out with the rage. Yeah, it did. Uh, it did a little bit. It's, it's. Uh, as you'll see, the the rage actually sort of began last Friday, and uh, <laughs> you know, it, it wasn't a week full of it. But uh, you know, there's a, a a few points I'd like to make. All right, let's see what's bothering Donnie this week. All right, first of all, I like to kind of start off sometimes with just general things I hate. Somebody from Fox Sports uh, that I just absolutely can't stand is Ken Rosenthal. And when I saw him on Game 1 of the oh, World Series, nice bow tie. wearing a bow tie, <laughs> I wanted to smash his effing face in. Well, that's one of Riz's personal policies. Never trust a man in a bow tie. Uh, that's a very, very, very good point. I, I, I don't know what that guy does to keep that job. I can just only assume that it involves something sexual with another man in the Fox Network. Alright? So, uh, something that I heard this morning that kind of got me a little bit, man. So, the douchebag of the day that shakes a baby only gets 25 to life. How come that's not a guaranteed life sentence every time? Why not? Why does that... That person doesn't ever need to see the light of day ever, ever, ever again. And, if it were up to me, they would get the lethal injection because they shouldn't be on this planet, man. I think she's going to get 26 years... And she's not going to be allowed anywhere near Facebook or Farmville for at least six months. Oh, uh, that's 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 you. That's too fair. Bad. You stay that's, off that's of Farmville. Cruel and unusual punishment. Twenty. Buddy. I mean, can you honestly think if that bitch gets twenty-five to thirty years for shaking a baby? That's crazy. Man. I, absolutely blows my mind. I hope you know what. That's a situation. I hope the prisoners get to her first. All right. Uh, two things uh, that happened last Friday. So before my gig at Hot Shots, I'm at Dorset and McKelvey there at that stoplight. And there is a Prius in front of me. Okay? The Prius. And the <laughs> license plate on the Prius says 55 MPG. So this person in front of me is so proud of themselves for owning and driving a Prius and knowing that they're doing something good for the environment that they had to share it with the rest of us by putting 55 miles per gallon on their friggin' license plate. Listen, I want the earth to be around for forever as much as the next guy, but you're not going to see me bragging about the nice recycling job that I did, jackass. So I don't think that we need to see it on your license plate. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> not to mention, man, I hate those Priuses, man. I couldn't fit my family in a Prius. I couldn't fit three fifths of my family in a Prius, for Christ's sake. Hey, my family, he means his penis. <laughs> After my gig at Hot Shots, I go to get gas. All right, I'm at the mobile station there on Dorset, and the guy next to me is getting gas, and he's gassing up a really sweet new Mercedes, man. I mean, it's just a beautiful car. So the guy starts cleaning his windshield with the squeegee. Cleans the front window, cleans the back window, and then the guy proceeds to clean his entire freaking car from <laughs> front to back with the squeegee. Really? You can afford a Mercedes, <laughs> but you can't afford to take your car to the damn car wash. I had, if I get that Mercedes, nobody's touching that son of a bitch in a car wash. I'm doing that myself. <laughs> but he cleaned the thing from front to back with a squeegee. Isn't I've that never dirty water? seen that in my life. That's a ghetto car wash right like, there. Like, I wash like bird caca off. That's like people who shower in the restroom. Just, you know... They do the bird bath thing. Yeah, man. Like, and I'm looking at a it. Horse and, his two, bath. And, and his two kids are in the back seat, and they're kind of younger teenagers. And they sort of look at me, and I look back at them, and they kind of look at me like, I know. I, I know he's retarded. Like, <laughs> like I, 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 a squeegee and a Mercedes. That would be something that I would think that someone else would be doing, not somebody driving that sweet ride. Well, that's a really uh, expensive car payment. So maybe he saves his money to afford that car payment by skipping out on the car washes. Maybe so. And just using the squeeze. <laughs> Regardless of, I like, it was one of those situations where I wish I would have not been driving, been with somebody else and had a couple, so that I could have struck up a conversation and figured out exactly why squeegeeing the car was the right idea. Uh, just one thing real quick. Uh, listen, I understand the greatness of Pantera, and I've said this before, but you rest in peace, dime bag people. You gotta stop it. I played Cemetery Gates yesterday, and every time I play the band, somebody texts in, rest in peace, dime bag. 
Get over it! My man is dead. We will remember him for forever, but a rest in peace dime bag is not necessary every single time we play the band, man. Come on! And then finally, okay, one of my pet peeves of being a jock, all right? And I don't have very many. That's a lie. I have a lot. But one of my <laughs> biggest ones is, is the situations where people pretend to know who you are like they should because you're on the radio. So I had this situation this past week. Somebody asked me what I did. I tell them I work in radio. Uh, I tell them where I work and when I'm on. And then this, then I get the, oh yeah, I knew I knew that voice from somewhere. Oh yeah. And it's a 60 year old lady listening to KEZK in the doctor's office. Come on, man. It's cool. I don't expect you to know who I am. It's not like I'm JC Corcoran and think that I have this God complex and that everyone should know who I am. I'm not like that at all. When somebody says, hey, Donnie, I listen to you. I think you're great. I love this station. Da da da. I can tell the difference between the genuine people and the people that are just full of it. So listen. If you don't know, that's just fine. You ain't gonna hurt my feelings in the least. But it comes, it makes like situations like super uncomfortable, man. Because like, <laughs> oh, so, uh, so how much Pink Floyd do you play? Thanks, none. But it, you know, it's just one of those like really super uncomfortable situations. I don't expect it. I don't want it. Not even in the least, ladies and gentlemen. It is short. It is sweet. It is my weekend rage. Come on. Goes weak in rage, everybody. How you feel, Donnie? Good, man. Thank you.